Item 10C, adopt a resolution approving parking restrictions on Atlantic Avenue and Bayshore Circle North. Honorable Mayor and members of City Council, my name is Tina Singh, um, Associate Civil Engineer with Public Services Department. I am here before you tonight to recommend adoption of new parking restrictions on Atlantic Avenue and Bayshore Circle North. Currently, the north side of Atlantic Avenue between Montgomery Avenue and Cemetery Avenue has a combination of no parking zone, driveway, and um, loading zone. The fire department requested that the existing loading zone be replaced with as, um, be, be replaced as no parking zone um, because when cars are parked at this loading zone and at the regular parking across from this loading zone, um, their fire trucks and fire engine cannot safely pass through this um, section of Atlantic Avenue. If the city council um, approve this change, the um, vehicles will not be able to park on the entire north side of Atlantic Avenue between Montgomery and San Mateo. In staff's review of fire department's request, um, staff felt removing the ex an existing loading zone in a commercial area would have been a negative impact to local businesses. The TSBC concur with staff's evaluation and um, recommend the council to um, approve the existing loading zone to be re removed, uh, relocated. I apologize that. Um, the uh, proposed lo loading zone is approximately 40 feet on the south side of Atlantic Avenue and you will be um, removed with two park regular parking spaces if approved. Um, local business were notified of the TSBC meeting. Um, staff received no objection of the proposed parking restriction on Atlantic Avenue. The next parking restriction is um, on Bayshore Circle North. As you are aware, Bayshore Circle North is a narrow lo one-way local street um, begins at Herman Avenue and eventually converts with Huntington Avenue East. A local resident that re uh, lives in, at the mid block of the street requests that the north um, west corner of Herman and Bayshore Circle North be um, established as no parking zone uh, due to his concern of hitting or side swiping parked cars when making a left turn from Herman Avenue. Um, in staff's um, preliminary review, staff expects that um, most drivers that are accessing, accessing this roadway um, lives in the area and are familiar with the roadway configuration and should be able to successfully and safely make this left turn. Um, therefore, the staff did not recommend the TSBC to approve the um, no parking request as requested by the resident. Um, however, after public input, hearing the public inputs, the TSBC felt even though most driver could maneuver the turn at this intersection, um, new parking restriction could be established to increase driver confidence and improve safety due to the awkward roadway configuration. Um, therefore, they consider and recommend a shorter no parking zone of 20 feet at the potential um, impact location right in front of 80 Bayshore Circle North. Um, the pr proposed no parking zone is about 20 feet and you will remove one regular parking space. The resident uh, of 80 Bayshore Circle North has no objection and in fact is in favor of this parking restriction. 
Um, that concludes the presentation, and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Good. Any questions of staff? <coughs> okay, Ms. Mayor, um, this one is this is exactly how it was this afternoon. I mean, there was a car parked there, just like in the aerial, and just like you described it, you have to do it at, at about five miles an hour so that you don't hit the parked car or you don't hit the curb. So I think this is this is a good solution here. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's limited parking on the street, but I mean, there's no limited parking on the properties. I mean, you drive in that neighborhood, and there's six cars in every property. It seems. Mm -hmm. uh, my question for Atlantic Avenue is, again, going out there this afternoon, no one parks on that north side. Anyway, I think there's a common knowledge that you can't get through if they park there, or it just seems doesn't make sense to park there because it does almost block the street. There's another block, though, isn't there? Isn't there the 200 block that goes to to the dead end or to the uh, from Montgomery from Montgomery e, uh, Montgomery West? That's correct. Right. That's, That's what I thought we were talking about because I saw the red, you know, the red parking on on this 100 block, and so I think, I mean, you've got don't you have the same issue on the 200 block? even though no one parks on the north side? Um, this request was brought up by the fire department, so um, they must have some previous experience yeah. when they were trying to get through the street and they could not get through. And okay. once, if there's a potential fire um, event at this section of Atlantic Avenue, if, if for whatever reason that loading zone is being utilized, okay. Um, they're, they're, it impedes their access. We have the identical same issue at the next block, which I believe it might be the 200 block, which is just west of uh, Montgomery. It's, it, is, it is a street because it, it does have a street sign there, and yeah. Based on your comment, uh, staff uh, will follow up with the fire department and will uh, assess the situation on uh, the block that you are mentioning, Councilman. And my, my only my only comment with that whole area is that, I mean, loading zones are only good if they're used as loading zones, and it's my experience seeing in that neighborhood that cars park in loading zones just like any other parking space. So. Uh, if they want a loading zone, uh, you know, give it to them, but uh, just know that uh, when the enforcement may not be always present for them to, to make it always available to those properties. Hey, Chair. Rico. Uh, starting on Atlantic, um, Councilman Rivera was there today, I was there this weekend, and I had the same question too, because I saw it this weekend, now again, it's the weekend, it's Saturday, it's Sunday, Niners are playing, so you think people might be home too. But um, it was pretty clear on the street that we're looking at now. If you want to go back one more, then yes, that was congested. I would hate to see a fire apparatus try to get back there. You had uh, businesses and you have a resident that I could see, an upstairs uh, resident that reside on that area. The, the yellow zone, is that for the two businesses that are nearby, which is a, a parts facility and a uh, detailing uh, facility? Um, yes, but even though it's right next to those two businesses, um, other businesses could utilize that loading zone as well. Oh, I understand that, but is it primarily why it was initiated? It was for those two businesses only, or is it to serve, you know, allegedly a truck's going to pull up there and then unload and wheel the, the merchandise down the street around the corner, or? trying to understand the history of that because when you look at it, there's a roll-up door on the proposed yellow side right where the yellow ends where they can unload and load. Across the street, they have a roll-up door that they can load and unload and pull into the driveway. So I'm trying to understand the yellow zone is to serve whom? Um, staff can go back and research on who initiated that request originally. How... Uh, how was presented uh, previously, uh, staff recommendation uh, for the loading zone uh, to the south was to relocate the prior existent loading, zo uh, loading zone to the north. 
uh, who, uh, for how long that loading zone uh, was uh, at that location, uh, step does not have information at this time, but we'll follow up with information for you. Uh, the intent relocating that loading zone was based on uh, to accommodate uh, uh, the need and to uh, the concern expressed by uh, the businesses in uh, that area. If I could just ask, is it the council member's interest that the loading zone be considered? Are you, are you questioning whether there's a need for it at all? Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, in going down there and seeing if it's to serve those two businesses specifically, and they have roll-up doors that they can pull a vehicle right. in, I'm I'm questioning Wh not to necessary. say not to relocate it. Yeah, I can understand that, but I'm trying to understand the value of who it's serving in that area yeah. rather than we just we can do some further work on that. I think it, if it's the council's pleasure, what you could do is authorize the red curb for the entire length of the north side of the block. And that's necessary. Y you've already been right. It, it, and uh, we've already been asked to take a look at uh, the 200 block and to consult with the fire department about that. Um, we could defer, if it's council's pleasure, the establishment of the loading zone for further study. So if, that, if that's your interest, we can, we can certainly take that action and, and do some further work with the businesses in the immediate neighborhood to find out how necessary or desirable it is. Thank you. Um, and then going to Bayshore Circle, um, Obviously, that is always of concern. You know, we have that my, that area that I wish would be shortened and then it would be more adequate for vehicles to travel. It's very tight and cars don't park on the street, they park on the sidewalk. And I don't mean a little, I mean most of the vehicle. I can understand why. They're concerned about being uh, um, hit, um, you know, accidentally. Um, I know when I was there, if I was to make that turn uh, on the green, that there were two trucks that were stick, uh, big trucks sticking out quite out. So now I'm thinking, well, then we should have had red there. Granted, the parking, you don't want to restrict that too much either because I know it's, it's, uh, it's needed. I think that area, that addresses something, but it doesn't address the main issue of that area that has been ongoing. Uh, and that, again, is the upkeep and the maintenance and who's paying for that Bayshore Circle, I'll call it the island. And it's also, it would be ideal if we could get that and have it, uh, you know, shortened in size so that there's more flow, not only for the residents and getting by and just trying to drive around there, but also for our emergency vehicles. Thank you. I was just wondering why we're doing all this investigation. Is there any possibility of cutting into some of that? Because it, it is owned by Caltrain, or do we own? I can't remember. Bayshore Circle yeah. is owned by Bart. By Bart. You, you're saying the open space, the island in the middle that the right. council member was discussing. By Bart. How did that happen? Right. <laughs> How do we do that? Um, <laughs> but I mean, maybe maybe there's some value in looking at taking part of it or using part of it or getting them to give us part of it to cut in for parking, cut into it for parking for the neighborhood because it is a horribly uh, narrow street. The, and this is an aside of this since we're doing all this investigation. Uh, when I was driving there today <laughs> on Herman, there was maybe 10, that's probably an exaggeration, seven uh, limousines parked on Herman as well. Um, just similar to the pro, it was kind of like they used to have on 7th, 7th Avenue, Valley, they used yes. to park on 7th, now they're parking <laughs> on Herman. And that really narrows the street down as well and makes it difficult for neighbors to, the neighborhood to uh, park. So I don't know, we should be doing something with that or uh, informing those people they shouldn't be parking there either. Um, but other than that, I'm in favor of the, the red part. Do you want a motion? Or do we need a resolution? Introduce yeah. something. Introduce. Yeah, I will introduce the resolution to have the red zone on the north side of Atlantic and the uh, red zone on that section of um, Bayshore Circle North. Council Member O'Connell? Aye. Council Member Medina? Aye. Council Member Ibera? Aye. Vice Mayor Salazar? Aye. Mayor Ruane? Aye. Mr. Mayor? 
Yes. Could, could I uh, request clarification as to the specifics of the council direction? I hear two council members expressing interest in our uh, more uh, deliberate outreach to BART and ad addressing this uh, issue of base source circle for the city's purposes. Um, is that something that the council wishes us to pursue? Okay. Irene, want to clarify oh. that? Oh, I definitely. I, it's always been. Uh, it's abundantly clear that I have wanted, and I, I think I, we should pursue, and we should really, yes, hmm? make this one of those New Year's <laughs> resolutions, but start early. But but, but not just Rico. You want a, a motion and a and yeah, a I vote, just want to or? confirm with the city council <laughs> that that was your intent. Long, so okay. we, don't, we don't need a separate motion. Um, and just to confirm the uh, deferral of the uh, relocation of the loading zone pending further study. That yeah. Appears to be part of your motion as well. Okay. Yeah, thank we you. Agreed. That's clarification. Yes. Okay. Okay. We're all clear. Good. 